welcome to my video. So this video did have an actual intro, but I had to adjust some microphone settings and I forgot to, so now it doesn't have an intro at all. And the first clip is just a time lapse and there's gonna be a lot of time lapses again because a lot of progress in Minecraft isn't that entertaining to watch unless it's a time lapse with some music over it. And that's just what this video is. It's about me making a bunch of the huge farms. Uh, so uh, today I made a bee farm, a gold farm. I worked on the second area for my uh, trading hall thingy. And I got a few zombie villagers off camera and I also upgraded my librarians a little bit.
Alright, so I'm currently in the middle of editing this video, and I thought of something that might be useful to some people, so I decided to, uh, to add this in for anyone who doesn't really want to wait for me to make a tutorial because I don't really even have that planned right now. It's just an idea that I might do. So, uh, the way this system works, this automatically collects all honeycomb. Uh, so normally there'd be some shears in here, and these observers detect when bees go out. I think when they come in, and if this gets filled with honey, and then that'll set off this redstone to uh, activate these dispensers. Uh, so over here, I assume everyone knows how observers work, especially since I just explained most of it, how it works. Uh, it sends a redstone pulse through. It's a very short one, but for something like this, it does work. So uh, an example of how this is used sometimes, uh, redstone doors. This is actually, they're used a ton in my uh, 3x3 piston doors I have around my house because they're just so perfect for it and they can really compact redstone size. It's really helpful. So if, let's say this were filled with honey, I activate this, the honeycomb would come out and well, let me get some so this is the collection system for all the honeycomb that were to uh, come out of this so what will happen is this hopper uh, minecart will go on top of this hopper leading into my chest uh, let's say it has items in it it'll activate this which will make this turn off and then the uh, repeater is going into this block so then it can reach this powered rail and that'll shut off the powered rail so it'll stop up here for a little bit causing the minecart uh, to stop and then it'll unload everything and then once it's empty and all into the chest it'll just continue on with uh, collecting stuff so if I throw that down once it makes its way back around you can see it stops up here it all goes into here along with some rails and uh, stone that I broke earlier and uh, obviously it's not this small throughout the farm but uh, this is just a small example of it and uh, the way the villager uh, works well the carrot farm the villager will collect grown carrots like this there was one over here when I started recording, but he already farmed that. Uh, he'll break it, and then collect it. There is an optional thing, which is having a villager, like right here, or pretty much anywhere where it won't disrupt the bees. Just make sure there's no escape holes for the bees to leave from uh, through that thing, through the villager pod. Uh, you can make a little collection system. I don't know if it's any more efficient than this tactic. I have it in my other farm, but the villager died off, unfortunately, and I didn't bother replacing him yet, and I probably never will. So, uh, what, if you don't have a villager, or a spare villager, uh, it'll just collect the carrots until its inventory fills up, and then it'll just collect all the ones on the floor, and it's, it's pretty efficient. It definitely gets its job done so I don't have any complaints about it and I'm very proud that I made this myself somehow it's probably not even close to the most efficient bee farm but it's cheap and it works and that's that's why I built it so uh, I'm gonna cut to the next part of the video now and hopefully this helped you out if you for some reason wanted to build one of these
episode four this time it wasn't such a sudden ending which is surprising for me but before i end the video i got a few things to talk about like next video and a future idea i have that i might try and do so the first thing i want to talk about the uh cleanup video that is 100 percent going to be my next video owen which is the server owner if you somehow didn't know by now is making a stream schedule and on Saturday, he is probably going to stream the uh, cleanup video. Well, for me, it's going to be a video. For him, it's going to be a stream. Hopefully, things will go well. I plan on making a lot of ice paths to, like, spawn the old house and trying to discover some new areas where I can build stuff in the future uh, and get a shopping district area chosen. So, hopefully, we can get that done all in one stream. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I actually have two new video ideas. I just remembered one, but I already talked about it in the video. One, a tutorial video. I don't plan on becoming a tutorial channel, but I kind of want to do a tutorial on my own farm. It's not the most effective farm, but hey, it gets the job done. And my other video idea would be the video that you see whenever you click on my channel. And it would be a pretty short video, maybe five minutes long. It'll just introduce all the players uh, that are mainly featured in my videos, so like Ethan, Owen, and the server owner uh, wants us to start calling each other all by our usernames, and I kind of want that too. So I'm gonna show username instead of real name. I'm gonna try and work on that one day. Hopefully that comes in the future. So anyway, goodbye, and as always, enjoy the foxes, and have fun listening to the amazing music.